things, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at a basic differentiation rule, the derivative of a constant. Throughout this video, we're going to try to understand that in several different ways. Now let's get right to the point. Let's suppose we had a constant function, c, where c is any real number. The derivative of any constant, the derivative of any number is zero. And if you want to write that in function notation, writing f of x equals some constant c, again, c is a real number here, the derivative f prime of x is zero. Now, the basic way to understand where this differentiation rule comes from, like all differentiation rules, it comes from the limit definition. Now, the limit definition of the derivative is very tedious and not practical, but how you're going to use this right now is we're going to take the limit definition of the derivative and turn it into better, more practical differentiation rules. All right, now in order to apply the limit definition, let's do a brief review of constant functions. So let's suppose we have the constant function f of x equals 2. Now let's just do the most basic thing you can with functions, which is plug in different x values to them, different input values. So if we plug in, let's say x equals 1, that function gives the output or y value 2. Now, it's really simple, but a little deceptive. Notice this function has no x in its formula. And what that means is the output value is always 2 for any x value. All right, if we go ahead and plug in some other x values besides 1, f of 1 is 2. If we plug in x is 2, the output value is still 2. Plug in x is 3, output value is still 2. And you can probably see the pattern here. It doesn't matter what you plug in for that function. Anything for the input for the x value will give the constant output or y value 2. All right. Now, with that out of the way, let's understand what the graph is. The graph of any constant, something of the form y equals a number, that's the equation for a horizontal line. And we're going to understand this a little bit later in the second part of this video. All right, so here, notice whatever we plug in to that function f of x equals 2. So we might say the constant c here is 2. The output value is just that constant, 2. So let's go to the limit definition and notice you're plugging in two things, f of x plus h and f of x. So let's go ahead and apply the limit definition where we're using f of x as a general or arbitrary constant, c. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate with the limit definition, f prime of x. We have a limit as h goes to 0. And the first step, we're going to plug in x plus h to this function. Now, again, here, for any constant function, the output is always the same value, which will be c. So if you go ahead and plug in x plus h, the output value is c. All right, the other part is we plug in the original function f of x, which is just c. So in the numerator of the limit definition, we get c minus c. That's over h. And if you go ahead and simplify, c minus c, that's 0. So here, it doesn't even matter what happens for the limit as h goes to 0. c minus c is 0, so we get the derivative here, the derivative of a constant as 0. All right, now that's, again, with the limit definition of the derivative. And you're pretty much never going to use the limit definition of the derivative except to get other differentiation rules like the power rule. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. And just write down what some of their derivatives are. So let's say we have a function, f of x equals 2. 
the derivative f prime, the derivative of any constant is zero. All right, let's take a look at another one. Let's say we have the constant function where the output value is one over 10. The derivative of any constant, that's gonna be zero. All right, and let's go to one more example. All right, let's say we have this power or exponent two to the 10th power. You might know some differentiation rules beyond the derivative of a constant like the power rule, but be careful, two to any power, a number raised to any number, that is another number or constant. So here, this is some constant. I have no idea what two to the 10th power is, but it's some number. The derivative of any number or constant, that's zero. So here, our first and most basic differentiation rule, the derivative of any constant, any number is zero. And make sure you're comfortable with the different notation for derivatives since there's gonna be a lot of different ways you'll be writing notation for derivatives. All right, now with this out of the way, applying the limit definition of the derivative to get this rule, let's go ahead and understand several different ways to understand this really simple differentiation rule. Now that we have an understanding of this differentiation rule, that the derivative of any constant is zero, let's go into more detail and understand this in four different ways. Now, these four different ways to understand the differentiation rule, go back to a basic question, what is a derivative? And there's three answers I like to give to my students. A derivative is a limit. We have it defined by the limit definition. A derivative is a slope of a tangent line and a derivative is an instantaneous rate of change. And the four ways that we're gonna look at right now to understand this differentiation rule come from understanding those different answers to this question, what is a derivative? Now, the first way to understand this rule, we actually did it in the first part, it was with the limit definition. So that was thinking there, a derivative is a limit, all right? A second way to understand this, consider the graph of a constant function. Let's say the constant two, the graph of y equals two is a horizontal line. And just think, what is the slope of a horizontal line? It's zero. So if we were to this graph draw any tangent line at any point, the tangent line is going to be horizontal the slope of any tangent line there will also be zero. So that's another way to understand that the derivative of a constant is zero. If you have a constant function, the slopes of the tangent lines will all be zero. And again, the slope of a horizontal line, that's zero. All right, thinking now of derivatives as rates of change, a general result is if something any quantity whatsoever is constant, then that quantity's rate of change is zero, right? If something's constant, it's not changing. So it makes sense then that the rate of change would be zero. And a fourth way to understand this rule, this goes to understanding, let's say our function as representing the position of an object at a certain time, the derivative the instantaneous rate of change of position, that's what we call or define as the velocity of the object. And we're typically gonna denote that, the position function as s of t, the velocity, the derivative of position, we're gonna denote that by s prime. Now with that out of the way, a fourth way to understand this, which is important for physics, is if an object's position is constant, if something's just in the same spot, then its velocity is zero. And there we go, that is four different ways to understand this basic differentiation rule. The rule by itself 
is really simple. The derivative of any constant is zero, but make sure you can understand it in these four different ways to really understand the foundation of calculus. And as we continue through other videos, we're gonna come back to understand derivatives in these different ways. Hope you enjoyed the video, short and to the point. Hope you're learning a lot. If you are, support the channel, like and subscribe.